Wow. <laughs> the acoustics in here are pretty terrible, but it looks nice, doesn't it? So, as I was saying before, we've got a white ceilings, nice light green cooling colour for the for the walls. And this is themed going right throughout the house pretty much. We've got a nice feature wall. Now I'm in the bedroom and this is where the bed will sit. Looking down there, we're gonna put some white wardrobes or something there. Nice big window there. And from here we've got some a little bit of uh, a bit of privacy. Now check this out, come out of the bedroom. Still got doors and window frames to the paint. But we're gonna do the same light green here and the feature wall in the corner. That's gonna be our dining room there. And we've got a small, very humble, but um, but practical little dining table at the moment. Picked it up on Trade Me for 60 bucks. That'll do perfectly. Check this out, I'm really excited about this. So look, most of this room is in at least its first stage of primer. They've actually gone through where the paint was all damaged and they've rendered the walls. Um, and they've just got a little bit of sanding back in a couple of spots. That's gonna be the breakfast bar. Um, and here is my new kitchen. Now I've spent the whole week welding these frames up here and they're bloody nice and solid and rigid. So we've got a, a, a base, a, a bench top here, 120 long. We've got a 900 wide gap for the stove when it comes. If, well, when it's gonna come, it might, it might be a while getting in. <coughs> but we've made provision for a decent, nice big wide stove and oven. Um, and then we've got a nice little corner L bench here. The sink goes in here. And I've got a, like a flip mix thing to, to go there. We'll have some cupboards up there for glasses and dishes. We'll probably have a, another bigger cupboard in the corner here for uh, like a pantry. And the, the fridge will go here. So we've got a small but usable kitchen. We've got a bit of a breakfast bar happening there. We'll probably change the bench up there. And I've decided to go for tiles on here because they're simple. I'm going to go straight onto that with ply and then cement the tiles down. I can lift them up, move them around, trim them, cut them, I don't have to mess around too much. Um, so that's where we are. Um, I've got a I've got the, uh, the bathroom almost completely finished. We've just got the painting to do around here. And again, that'll be that lighter green. Nice white, glossy for the internal doors. And, uh, and we'll stick to that chocolate brown that we've done on the outside and for the, for the details on the trim. Oh, look, I tell you what, it's so nice to see the, the finish. They've gone in there and done that ceiling, you'd never really know. It was, um, they had steps and gaps and holes and, and rats and stuff. They fixed all around the bottom bits there. I've got a beautiful big painting that we picked up at at um, Tanner Lot, we, we picked this up. Jonathan's room here in the middle, that's, um, that's a bit dark. We're probably gonna need some lighting in there or a skylight. And I've decided because the outside kitchen is gonna get used a lot, especially by me and my colleagues while, while we're, um, not the kitchen, the bathroom, while we're doing, um, when I'm working outside in the office, is one of these two um, local toilets, this one here, we're gonna convert to a flushing toilet. Now luckily I managed to pick one up brand new um, on special for 65 bucks for the toilet. Um, so that's, that's cheap. Um, that's the system, the toilet, soft clothes, lid and all. So I thought, well, why would you bother? Um, and my builder said, oh, it'll cost you 35 bucks to put it in. I went, yeah, do it, please. So that means little Jonathan's got his own dunny, which is fantastic because I tell you what, in the mornings it's a bit of a struggle between him and me as to who's going to spend the longest sitting on the toilet. And yeah, it's not a pretty, it's not a pretty fight to have if we, when you're in Bali and things are moving fast. That's, <laughs> is that the right way to say it without being too offensive? Um, so all of the rooms now, the ceilings are done as far as jibbed and they're not sanded back and stuff yet. This kitchen out the back that I've done for Fee's um, catering, it's turned into the best workshop. I've put the old sheets of ply that were on the doors, I put them down to, um, to protect the, the tiles. 
but it's been perfect because it's been a cutting bench, a welding bench, it's a, a nice flat slab that I could use to, to cut out my kitchens and everything else. No, you can tell where I've been painting. <laughs> I might be up with some new stools so, soon. Um, and they've gone right through. Now, I didn't expect they were going to do this, but apparently they quoted for it, so that was in included. The whole paint and, and, and clean up, look at that, they've scraped all the paint around here. They've, they've filled in a lot of the holes. There were rats getting in up there, um, and they've, they've really made the door trims. That was all included. The last quote I got for them to finish the house was $800, um, which is, yeah, look, um, for, to know that it's gonna be finished in the next week or so. We've got, we've got Nyepi coming New Year's Eve. Um, barley style, we can't work on Nyepi. And, and Nyepi's Eve, the, the day, well, yeah, New Year's Eve, um, is, is there's a lot of celebrations and, and that's where they have that big Oga Oga, the big demon, demonic statues get um, get burnt and, and so I'm actually going up to the village um, with Agung, my, the guy who does the tattoos. Now I didn't realise, but Agung has been a, a Kelian, he's been the chief of his village and his family goes right back to the king of Permachutan. So um, he's very, very well connected and he's invited me personally to come along to his um, to his village for, for the Nepi celebration. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I've got to leave there before the the embargo because once it hits six o'clock the next morning, um, you're not allowed out the front door. You can't drive up the road. There is no taxis. There's no. You're not allowed to walk anywhere. You've got to stay inside. Now, if you're in a hotel, just to clarify, you you are allowed within the grounds of the hotel. But I don't even think I'm allowed outside to paint. I'd probably get in trouble for being out the front gate. You're allowed to stay inside. You're not allowed to let any light leak out. You're not allowed to make any noise. So there's no welding and grinding and hammering and stuff like that. But I'm just thinking, I, I thought I could get away with um, with doing some painting, but you know, these guys are gonna get in and get it done. They're, um, they're doing a great job. They're really fastidious. And um, I just keep piling little jobs like another toilet and, and that on them. And they're just, they're just wonderful. Um, I, um, I said to this old guy, the one that's done all the, red, the doors and stuff, I said, listen, can you do the kitchen, kitchen drawers and the... And the uh, and yeah, of course, I, I want to do that. But he's really impressed by, by the quality of the welding, so it's nice. Um, so he's going he's gonna to eventually finish. That's a probably one-day job. I don't need that at the moment. Um, I'll be just as happy with a, with a bench top and, um, and, a, and a stove cooker or a burner or something for now. But my tell you, it's hard working in the, in the sun. Um, I, so many little things get me get me laughing and uh, look don't take this as a complaint because I, <laughs> I love Bali but I love the craziness of it I went to three shops this morning to, before I could find just a simple flexible sort of comes out of the bench and goes into the, the, the dual sink arrangement um, that had hot and cold water because 99% of them over here only have cold water they don't generally wash up in hot. They don't, in fact, most of the houses don't have hot water. Um, certainly the, the, the local houses. So yes, you can buy the fancy stuff. There's tons and tons of fancy stuff and they're all $200 for a flick mix or whatever. But the ones that I, that, that I was looking at were only about 20 bucks. I went, well, have you got one of them in hot and cold? And they suddenly jumped from 20 to 100 bucks. So went to another store and they had one that was nice one for 60 bucks. I went, that, 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 I don't mind that, but Jesus, uh, spending. So it looks like they cater for the very rich or for the wealthy or for the bulle because that's the, sorry, the bulle is, is, is the, the, the introduced species. That's one of me. Um, they do cater for, for the outsiders because relative to their money, we've got lots. Um, and, and probably, I can't remember what I spent for my last fancy one, but I had one of those like really nice extendable chef time ones. I loved it. It was my favorite attachment in the kitchen. And um, I can't justify doing that here because it's not my place and I'm not here for long. Um, and I don't have a lot of money to spare. So I just went for the, the cheapest one that was nice enough to do what I need to do. It turned out to be a, a good one. But um, oh, <laughs> it's just every day, every day there's something that you go, okay, well, how much, how am I gonna do that? Where do I go to find that out? And, and what do I do? It's, I need, I, I, yeah, so <laughs> the ply is being delivered this morning, so I can put plywood down on, on the bench tops and we can screw that down, and then we're going to glue down the, the, the tile sheets, and I'll probably get Pa 
to uh, Bob Park, the old guy, the builder here, to do the, the sheets of, um, to do the, the tiles. He does such a great job cutting and, and sorting the tiles out in the bathroom. I don't want to screw these ones up because they're quite, they're big sheets. Um, and look, just here, people keep asking me how much things cost over here. The, the, the granite looking sheets, beautiful marbling colour. I've, I've chosen a sort of a soft grey sort of marbly colour because I've got, I want to have um, whitewashed wood grain uh, panelling in the, in the actual kitchen benches or the kitchen um, drawers. And I've got the nice dark feature wall which I can put some, some white or some, some highlighted um, shelves on and maybe a li little bit of LED lighting. So I wanted something that was a little bit more neutral and something that, that was a bit forgiving for spills and, 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 and marks and stuff like that. So I chose a, a sort of nearly a greenish grey marbly top and it looks, it's going to look I think really nice. And the bench tops have been cut at 1200 by 600 so they're basically just going to sit straight on top. Um, which is going to make life a lot easier, but but the walls in the house are way off square by, by an inch or two, so we're going to have to scribe and cut and and trim the, the tiles to suit, which is fine, we can do that. Um, so, yeah, look, that's, um, that's sort of where we're at. Oh, one more thing. In about all right, an hour's time, I've got Steve Morris coming over from the um, water purification people. Now he's the, the guy, my mate, that was up in the village with me. A really good rooster. He's um, he's the sort of bloke who, with me, we went up to the village in Carring Assam and we're looking at, at projects up there uh, about putting water and power into some of these little remote, the most remote little houses up the side of the mountain. So watch this space. There's going to be a lot more to do with this project, including a shopping uh, opportunity where you can actually sponsor a, a, a LED light that we can take directly, that'll get shipped straight to us and we can take up the mountain. So things are happening slowly in the background. Um, but for now, I'm getting stuck into this house. It's coming together just beautifully. The outside will be the last thing painted, but um, right now I'm just really, really happy that in another week or two's time, it's it's the middle of the month now so by the end of the month i reckon we'll be staying in here now um we've, we really don't have much more to do just a little bit more paintwork and a few little things like we, we need a, an air vent for the bathroom i want to put some ceiling fans in we need a few extra power points those sort of detail stuff that um yeah the the wi-fi is getting connected it's all it's all happening but it's um it's taking time like barley oh it is but then sometimes it's just once it once i've got the stuff here these guys are incredible. They just they just get into it. Oh, look, I really love sharing this journey with you. It's been it's been a bit of a surprise to me how interested people are on, on the mundane parts of living in Bali. But it's not mundane at all. I promise you. It's um it's a laugh a minute. It's a surprise a minute. <laughs> but um, your your support's been just overwhelming. Um, thank you so much for those super likes and and the and the thumbs up and and the, the donations that we've got from some of our some of our followers. Um, We've been um, we've been able to do a little bit more faster than than we could have because um, of what you guys have been been doing to help us out. So a huge thanks to that. And for those people who would like to make a little contribution, um, even even a bin tank at the end of the day goes a long way over here. I promise. Um, just send me a message that I can get some details to you because um, that's been oh, look. It's just been a godsend. It really really has. We've got so many other things happening at the moment. We're we're starting to plan our next mission up the mountain. Um, and we're still working on the school. We've got more donations still coming through, more sponsorships from the school. Um, so I don't sort of organise much of that anymore. I keep that, um, I try to keep out of that side. I'm, I'm good at doing this stuff, the vlogging and the hard work and, and the slog, but um, oh, geez, I tell you what, it keeps me busy and it keeps me so, so fulfilled, so happy, so, um, so glad to be alive and so glad to be here in Bali helping other people. And helping you guys too. Some of some of the things. A lot of t people say, "Oh, look, you've been so good. What you've showed us in Bali has been helped us with our holiday." Well, that's that's what I'm doing it for. I'm doing it for all of us, for me as well. Um, and um, and it's just fantastic. A quick update on the puppy. She's going amazing. Oh, I don't know. She's just, she's crazy. Um, I might do a little a, next time I go home and feed her, because I'm only living around a corner. I'll um. I'll put it on and tag it on the end of this video. So, guys, thanks for coming today. That's all about my update is. It's so close to being ready. It just, it's not funny. It's really, really, really starting to look amazing. Um, I just want to thank you all. I want to get into it and I'll catch you later. Bye.